Good morning guys, uh, I'm doing this video on a request I received for a type of trading update on the ShopRite Holdings Limited share we looked at uh, in my previous video. So what I decided to do was to do a quick um, look at some of the long term and perhaps a bit more short term over a period of six months um, what we can expect for this share um, on based on some scenarios. So if we look at ShopRite's um, current share price, it's about 167 Rand per share. Um, the current market multiple of the ShopRite group at this point is about 26 times earnings. And the current earnings per share as listed on Finance24 is 6 Rand 42 at the moment. So firstly, what I wanted to look at is what will happen if the market's if the market decides to pay more for earnings and less for earnings and that is the of course the price to earnings multiple provides you with an idea about what the market is willing to pay for future earnings on a stock so the first thing I did was to calculate a multiple expansion of the price to earnings multiple by 25% and then a contraction on the multiple by 25% so as you'll see here, the current one, current price to earnings multiple is 26. Uh, multiple expansion by 25% would be about 33%, and contraction by 25% would be about 20. What I also did was to look what would happen if the earnings per share declines by 10% and grows by 10%. These numbers are, of course, just guesstimates um, on what we can, what I thought may happen. So firstly, what you'll see is that the most positive um, long position for this share will happen, um, of course, with an EPS growth of 10% and a multiple expan expansion by 25%. And then you can look at about 230 Rand per share. If the EPS would, would not change or was not to change, then we will see about 208 Rand per share, 209 Rand per share. And if the multiple or the EPS declines by 10%, it would be about 187 Rand per share. Now, in, if the multiple um, were to contract, then with an EPS decline of 10%, um, the share would drop significantly to 100, about 113 Rand per share. With no change in the EPS, uh, it would be about 125 Rand a share. And then with EPS growth of 10%, it would be about 137 Rand per share. If the price to earnings multiple um, were not to change, then the, with a declining EPS, um, if the earnings per share would reduce by 10%, we can expect about 150 Rand per share. And if it were to grow, you can expect about 183 Rand per share. So at this um, point, what I did was the green um, color represents all the places where a long in the share would make money. and the red represents all the places where a long would lose money. Of course, if you were short in the share, the red would represent where you make money and the green would represent where you would lose money. So looking at the possible scenarios, you can see that a price to earnings multiple by 25% is the most positive thing that can happen for this share, according to my calculations. With no change, you will be making money if you're long in the share uh, with a EPS growth of 10%. And if the multiple were to contract by 25% and you were long in this year, um, at an earnings growth of 10%, you would still not be making money. So you would need a lot more earnings growth um, to actually make money on the stock. Now with this in mind, um, the question really that we have to ask at this point is how likely is a price to earnings multiple expansion and how likely is a price to earnings multiple contraction? Keep in mind that the current PE multiple is about 26 and that historically the JSE's price to earnings multiple average for all the stock on the JSE or for the stock on the top 40, I'm not exactly sure, but that is about 14 times earnings. So a multiple of 26 um, sees is uh, already a bit high. Um, uh, moving away from 14%, but keep, some stocks do carry a multiple of 30 at this point or more. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, will the market be willing to pay more or less for the stock at this point in time? 
some of the macro guys would be able to, or macroeconomic guys would be able to answer this better than perhaps I would be able to. But if you think about it, um, we are seeing already an uptick in some of the interest rates. And of course, when an uptick in interest rates occur, it's usually bearish for the price to earnings multiple of the market. So when people can receive more on their earnings in a bank account, typically shares do a bit worse and the market will not pay as much for the future earnings of companies at that point. Yet on the other side of the coin, we also have the Bernanke put, you know, the, the US Federal Reserve and all the, reser the reserve banks in the world um, running very loose monetary policy. And that loose monetary policy is of course very good for South African stocks and especially con consumption stocks or stocks such as ShopRite where people would be looking at purchasing food or those type of things. Um, we've seen a lot of money being invested into South African retail shares and the question then is um, will that continue and if that continues then maybe um, the price to earnings multiple can increase. So really it's a, at this point it's a question on what's going to happen to the price to earnings multiple. But what I also did was um, some I look at some of the fundamentals, or not the fundamentals, the technicals on the stock. So firstly, um, let's take a look at the weekly chart of ShopRite, and this is from bigcharts.marketwatch.com. And what we see is a run-up in the share, and this is more on the long-term perspective. We see a run-up on the share, and then we had a correction back, and now it's forming this widening consolidation pattern. We have a support level um, between about uh, 170 and 160 Rand per share. Now the question at this point is what they taught me in the technicals uh, is that if you have a downward trend into something like this um, widening consolidation pattern, there's about a 70% likelihood that we are going to see a downside breakout and if we see a downside breakout then the next support level that I can see is around about 140 Rand in this line here. Another thing to take a look at is the MACD indicator of course had a massive correction to the downside if you can perhaps look at the previous trends in the MACD up to this point where it was very overbought and then we had a a correction to the downside. Now the question is will we again see something like this similar to this here this side. If that were to happen then it's very likely that we can see a downside breakout at least to 140 Rand a share and 130 Rand a share and that is over a more long-term perspective. Now looking at the short-term perspective in the short run um, I think things um, may look a bit better for the share if, we're, if you were to trade on the short term perhaps um, if this was my share I would be looking at going long at this point of course any there's no guarantees in trading uh, but what I would do what I would be looking at is this the MACD here on the daily chart is oversold actually and it may be looking to correct to the upside also the share price at 167 Rand a share is near the bottom of this um, support level. So what I would do is I would try to get in at this point and then look at selling at about 190 Rand a share and that's more on the short term perspective and what the time period that I'm looking at here is about six months. So yeah. So just to summarize, the perspective is at this point, um, we may be asking ourselves what's going to happen to the price of earnings multiple. Will the market pay more or less for the share? If you were to be going long at, on the share, um, I would only look at doing that for the short term, perhaps not the long term. I would sit tight, I would try and get in at this floor about 170 Rand and get out at 190 about. If you were to go um, very long on the share, you may have to, or if you want to trade the share on the long run, uh, I would not look at doing that unless going short as a trader strategy. Um, in the as a long-term strategy, 
if we have an upside breakout I will only purchase the stock again when we have an upside breakout and if I'm if I feel that the market will be paying more for earnings in, in future and that will of course depend on the interest rates and a lot of a lot of other factors to consider at this point these are just some thoughts if you really want to invest into a stock you have to do a lot more research you have to read the company financials you have to read the share you have to read the statements by the chairman of the board by the CEO all those important documents you also have to read up on the news articles those type of things um, the famous trader I think his name was James Kramer from CNBC money I think is where you can find him said that if you are looking to invest long term into a stock you have to have a, a buy point and a sell point and you have to set the conditions where to sell and you have to do about an hour's research on a stock per week um, that you own so an hour on each stock looking at all the important elements so then again just my quick disclaimer this post is really only for scholarship research and education it's not intended to be financial or trading advice please consult a registered financial advisor before making financial or investment decisions you know the usual thank you very much for your time and attention and i'll talk to you again